Hey folks, Crystal is here with FixCam, finally ready and rested after a long night on March 4th. Well, let's get one quick thing out of the way. If I look a little different, it's because I have makeup on. No, I don't wear it every day, but I uh, did a taping of the Tim Russert Show earlier this morning, hence the makeup. Make sure to check your local listings over the weekend to catch the Russert Show. Uh, on to what's next, and I think that's a question on everyone's mind. Okay, March 4th is over. It didn't provide us the resolution we thought it would. Where do we look next? There are 10 states uh, that will vote between now and the end of the uh, process on June 7th, as well as Guam and Puerto Rico. Uh, both Clinton and Obama have some strengths within that. For Clinton, her strengths start in Pennsylvania. Obviously, her campaign has made a big deal of it. It's April 22nd. It's a state that looks demographically a lot like Ohio. It's a state where a lot of the political establishment, including the governor and the mayor of Philadelphia, uh, are lined up behind her. Other states that should be good for Clinton, Kentucky and West Virginia. Again, states that look like Ohio, if she can continue that coalition. But Senator Obama's got a lot of good states for him, too. Uh, this weekend, Wyoming. Uh, next week, Mississippi. He's also got Oregon, South Dakota, Montana. All of those should be good for him. What does that leave us? Maybe May 6th is the day to watch. The next, next, next. I think that's the right number next. Super Tuesday. Uh, that's when North Carolina and Indiana vote. Both relatively large states, uh, diverse states, and states where both Senators Clinton and Obama think they can win. Now, Indiana is a place, it's in the Midwest, a lot of uh, 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 voters that look like Ohio voters that should vote well for Senator Clinton, as should the fact she's got Evan By, the uh, senator from Indiana, on her side. North Carolina should be a good state for Senator Obama, significant black vote, but also a rural vote there uh, that Senator Clinton has done well in. So May 6th could be the next day that we focus on in terms of uh, uh, a real battle between these two candidates. But make no mistake, the very, very likely scenario is that even past the Puerto Rico caucuses out there on June 7th, we don't have a definitive nominee and that the party elders and the two candidates are going to have to figure out a way to broker this. We'll keep watching as long as we can keep our eyes open. I'm Chris Alyssa. WashingtonPost.com